hello! I am so excited right now because everyone tuning in, I have someone very special that I get to interview. And this is Juan Day and her choreographer, Brie. Um, really fun fact about her. She is actually the first female artist to sign with Reach Records, which if people don't know who Reach Records is, Lecrae, right, is the owner of Reach Records. So that is a really fun fact. How does that feel? Are you excited about that? Was it the best news ever? Just give us a little bit about that. Yeah, I definitely feel super excited. I think it was definitely a blessing because it's something I've always wanted to do ever since I found out I could rap and um, develop this passion. So once it finally happened, I was definitely super excited, super joyous. And then even now, as I've evolved and had people around me like Brie, I think it's been super dope to show people like what you can do, like what women can do and like what we can bring to the table. So it's been a definitely a great experience. A hundred percent. The fact that you get to pioneer that is really cool. And also just the two of you here together showing how women helping women and women supporting women is such a beautiful thing that the world definitely needs to see more of. So just to go back with you starting as a rapper, I heard that that started in biology class. So can you yes. tell us how rap can be birthed in a biology class? That's pretty crazy. I'll definitely stay in school, um, <laughs> but biology birthed my rap career because it was the end of the semester and my teacher was like, oh, if you don't want to do an essay or a PowerPoint over cellular transport, you can actually do a rap about it. So I literally took my textbook and I was like, let me change my inner rapper and, uh, you know, just do this. And I did it and my friends were really impressed. They're like, wow, this is actually really good. Like, and I was like, really? And definitely outside of my comfort zone but for some reason I felt like on the inside I really enjoyed it um mm -hmm. and yeah I had just gotten saved about two years prior to that so basically I since I noticed how much attention it was getting and like how you know intrigued people were by it I basically used it as a way to tell people about Jesus now through rapping and I would like go to people's lunch tables and like join freestyle circles and rap and like from there it's kind of evolved where I learned how to record and turn into a passion that's where I am now. Amazing. I really love that story. Did you always love rap music? Like, was that one of the things that you grew up listening to? Or was it, it just came in the moment, like, let's rap in biology class? Yeah, so I actually always did love rap music. It's something I enjoyed. And even as I, like, explored my faith a little bit more, I remember one day on YouTube, I was like, man, because I really love Jesus, but I, I really love rap and sometimes mainstream rap doesn't like combine with that that desire so I looked up is there Christian rap or are there Christian remixes to like popular songs and so ironically that's how I even found out that Christian rap existed and that people like the play were out and so yeah that's how I was able to find out about this whole new world and ever since it's just been a, a love and a passion. A really cool thing about you that you brought up is the fact that you come from Nigerian descent and grew up in Texas. That's so cool. I think diversity is such an amazing thing. And the fact that you're a diverse woman, woman in your industry is probably so inspiring to so many people. So kind of like tell us a little bit about that. Like, is that something that you bring into the music you make, something you're really proud of? Did you grow up in a very cultured home in Texas? Like, what's the story behind that? Because I'm sure a lot of people will find that very interesting. Yeah, so definitely grew up in a very cultured home. So at home, it's like the home base is, is Nigeria in the house. Yeah. So Nigerian foods, Nigerian music, Nigerian language. Like they're speaking this language called Yoruba to me. And so definitely um, it infused me because now I have this Nigerian home base, but then outside I have like a fully American experience at the school. And so that's kind of like what you get in my music. So you'll hear like hip hop, like normal American you know, music, but then I'll infuse things like our language, Yoruba, into the music, or sometimes like the drums patterns that you'll hear in African music, I'll infuse a little bit into my music. And so it's definitely a combination of both worlds whenever you look at my music in my life. And get it. So what's it next? Like what's coming up? I know you have a new album. I'm sure things are crazy because life is pretty much on pause for everybody, but there's probably a lot of exciting things on the horizon. So what's the thing that you're most excited for after quarantine or even things that you're working on right now during this season that God has us all in? Yeah, definitely excited to like go on tour. That's, yeah. that's the most exciting thing. But quarantine has been a blessing. So me and Bree actually started planning our tour. So we're gonna, it's going to be something you've never seen before. 
in you know Christian music, you know, Fire. you're definitely gonna get choreography. You're gonna get a lot of creativity. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we're super excited. So whatever, whatever that looks like, the new future of performances, like we're just super excited to be prepared and be ready to like give people a full experience of just Jesus music and choreography. <laughs> you spoke about tour and the fact that there will be dancers and choreography. Um, I was thinking that it would be really fun if we did a little bit of dancing because here at Juice we are all about challenges and also dancing is just like the best thing ever and TikTok is really in right now. I am not a TikToker. I haven't gotten on that platform yet so you're gonna have to teach me the whole like TikTok dance thing but I think it'd be fun if you guys taught me a little TikTok dance and we did a little challenge. Does that sound fun? Yeah, Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so one thing that you should know, there's some signature TikTok moves. So like this thing is a signature TikTok move. You'll see in a lot of TikToks. Great. Well, so those are some starter points to get you started. Great, because I know nothing. I've only watched a couple of TikToks because of my little sister or because it's like on Instagram. So I'm fresh to TikTok. So you're teaching me everything I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok side effect. <laughs> as long as you got this for some of, I mean, you'll, you'll be good for at least half the TikToks right there. Let's go. Okay. What are the moves? So this one's called the Bin Up Challenge. Uh, we just dropped this, I think, a little over a week ago. Okay. okay. So you go arm up, arm up, arm down, arm down, back, and the hip. Go, go. And then go shoulder out, pray, throw. Okay, let's do it up, like up tempo. I'm ready. You ready? We can do it with the words. Okay. Ooh, Word, words. yes, girl. Okay. 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 Five, six, seven, eight. I come down. I ain't stopping. I'm on go. Eat. I feel sounds. I'm a feeling with that hoe. Oh, do we do it? Do we do it? Yes. Thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. And thank you for being an inspiration in so many ways, not only just representing where you come from, but also being a woman that loves God in the hip hop world. That's amazing. And I'm sure so many people are proud of you. So we love you here at Juice and thanks for taking the time to be with us today. No problem.